A Fort Bliss soldier is facing federal charges for 3D printing gun parts that turn semi-automatic assault rifles to fully automatic weapons. The FBI says these 3D printed devices in the wrong hands can have, quote, catastrophic catastrophic consequences. ABC 7's Jason McNabb joins us live in the studio to give us the details on these illegal parts and what they mean. Jason. Eric, the FBI, ATF, and U.S. Army Criminal Investigations Division and the U.S. Postal Inspection Service are working jointly to bring these charges against Grant E. Mosley for the making and distributing of what many call a switch. While his arrest photo has not been released, 25-year-old Mosley is a soldier at Fort Bliss. The agencies involved accuse him of making 3D printed automatic sears, which are small devices that can turn a semi-automatic gun into a fully automatic one and then advertising and selling them through social media. How exactly can a small device that can be 3D printed of plastic make a weapon so much more deadly? In this case of an AR-15, the sear is a device mounted at this point over the trigger bar where this circle indicates. It overrides the trigger bar, allowing the gun to fire continuously with one pull of the trigger. This sear, often called a switch, effectively turns a regular AR-15 into an automatic machine gun. ATF says they are thrilled to have some of these devices now off the streets, calling the devices highly dangerous with potentially catastrophic consequences. The FBI's El Paso sector gave ABC7 similar words about these devices. Is reducing violent crime in our communities and throughout our country is a priority of the FBI. And the collaborative work from multiple FBI field offices, the ATF, the United States Postal Inspection Service, in Army CID to disrupt the manufacturing and selling of these devices. We'll ensure that these illegal parts do not get into the hands of individuals who want to commit violent acts in our communities. Now, if Mosley is convicted, he can face five to 10 years in federal prison, as well as $250,000 fines per count. It should also be added that professional 3D printers can cost thousands, but entry-level ones can be found online for as cheap as $230. Now, back to you.